Okay, boys and girls, we're going to look into striking today. We're going to start off. We're going to start off on our own, and we're going to start off using the wall and just the wall and a ball. Okay, and to start off, we're going to be on our knees. All right. And do you think our knees should be close together, or do you think you should leave a little space between them? Be separate. Separate. With a little space. Why would it be separate? And um, so you won't fall over. So you won't fall over. So it keeps you nice and balanced. And when you're down on your knees, all right, what's facing towards the wall? Your um, shoulder. Your shoulder. All right, so you make sure your shoulders are against, facing against the wall and you make sure that your knees are either side of the ball. ball. And then what are you going to do? Smack you're going to smack it or you're going to hit it and you're going to use your open hand, okay? So when you hit it and it comes back, you're not swinging your hand. You are going to swing, right? So what happens if I stand back here and swing? Will I be able to hit the, hit the ball really hard? So where do I have to go? At the side. All right, so when you go to the side, hit the ball against the wall and stop it. Okay, where you go. Yeah, you're using the yellow goal, so where you go. Good. In this striking activity, players are encouraged to use a ground strike with an open hand. The coach challenges the players to kneel on the ground with a shoulder on stance to a reboundable surface, for example, a wall. Okay, and boys and girls, if it's too easy now, can you move out to the white cone? The players use an open hand to strike the ball off the wall and stop it as it returns before striking it back again. This is known as a two-touch technique, with one hand on the top centre of the ball to stop it and the other hand open and swung with a clean striking action, not a push. To progress ground striking, the coach now introduces a short-handled bat the player uses this to forehand strike a medium-sized ball off the wall and stop it as it returns before striking it back. This is the two-touch technique. Now, if you don't need to stop it, then you move out to the next one. You've got five of the white, so you move out to the red cone. And if you don't need to stop it, you can just hit it the first time. So you only need one touch instead of two. The stop is executed by trapping the ball with the face of the bat on the top centre point of the ball. from the red cone first. The coach encourages the non-striking shoulder to be pointed at the wall for accuracy, an efficient backswing to generate force and a clean strike and follow through action. Okay boys and girls, now we're going to look into some dribbling activities today and we're going to use the uni hack. Dribbling okay. a medium sized right. ball with a long tailed implement is a natural progression from using short and longer handled bats. Or would you keep them side by side? One foot in front of the other, so when you have one front in front of the other you have to put your hands onto the uni hack stick and you have one hand at the top and one hand about three quarters of the way down, okay? And then you simply move the ball from side to side, side to side, all right? So everybody watch again, all right? One foot in front of the other, one hand at the top, one hand about three quarters of the way down and we move the uni hack ball from side to side. That's it. Good girl, Katie. In and out through the cones. The hand position on the uni hock stick is the focus of this exercise. A wide grip with one hand at the top and one at the bottom is encouraged at first to maximise control of this long implement. Keep your, keep your stick. Keep your stick out. That's it. That's it. Where you go. The coach encourages the players to use both sides of the stick to control the ball while dribbling, keeping the ball close to the stick at all times. As the activity progresses, the coach challenges the players to close the space between the hands by moving the bottom hand further up the stick. Okay, come on, come on. 